and, and, and so on. Um, there are some barriers, you know, like if you live in Canada and you want to listen to something, they might not allow it because of contracts they have with their own uh, media companies, etc. So Canada has more restrictions on things, uh, <coughs> and there are some things that aren't supposed to be there, but you can find them by going to the other networks, etc. Uh, uh, so there's all kinds of things. By the way, there's an odd book out there called uh, Kill All Normies. Um, and by the way, I, in reading that book, I discovered I was a normie. So oh, no. it's kind of annoying, you know. Um, yes. Yeah. If you're if you're on the dark web, these are well. Let's not go there. But there is such a thing: culture wars uh, and stuff like that. Um, Things I, I need to, to touch on. A contemporary of John Stuart Mill was Auguste Comte. He was a French uh, philosopher that invented, officially, sociology. Um, uh, and who influenced him? He was influenced by Hegel and others. Uh, but uh, sociology, remember the, the question I asked with regard to Hegel is uh, why is Hegel associated with uh, um, the beginnings of sociology. And so if you're, you're thinking about what structures human thinking, the answer from Hegel is the society. In fact, the one book that describes Hegel's uh, philosophy is the sociality of reason. Spell it right. No. Social life of reason. Okay, there it is. So that's the book. The sociality of reason. The idea is that your intuitions come from your community as you learn to speak the language and interact with the people in that community, you believe what the community believes. And so what becomes rational or reason comes from the structure of that society, right? And of course, just like consciousness that's meeting another self-consciousness, you end up with this conflict between them. I have that conflict in myself. Should I eat the candy bar? My, my one side of me says, oh, I love Snickers, I'm going to eat it. The other side of me says, well, but you want to live forever, and if you eat Snickers, you're not going to live forever. People will kill you. And so I end up with this conflict in my own self between two sub-selves in me, and, and, and of course I'm going to eat the damn Snickers bar because that's the stronger side of me in that particular argument, right? And you can see that. Uh, and, and, and on we go, right? But by the way, even though I think of these as different selves in conflict, I am the whole self that is these set of selves in conflict. conflict. In fact, I can imagine uh, if you're um, you know, a, a multiple, multiple personality type person, you could just easily go, you know, you could switch, you know, and, and you, know, you have your explanation of where all that comes from. Give. How many Edens is a Snickers worth to you? Ten, I would say at least. Especially if it's the full size one. You know, those little cheaty things. Ah, oh, man, that's evil. I, did I give you the quiz question? I should give you at least the quiz question. Did anybody see what it was? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, that's just an exam. How do you think utilitarianism would approach the coronavirus pandemic? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, that was my quiz question. Thank you. Can you say that again, Emmett? How do you think utilitarianism would approach the coronavirus pandemic?
That is it. And what was your your question again? When we grow up, fragments we don't even realize where they came from. Questions? You guys having fun? It's a very important thing to you know that whether or not this is a good class depends on your vote. Our education system has switched to its at the bottom up. Whether we like that or not, it might not be that good for us, but what was I made for? What was I made for? Who would you say would be a good criminal philosopher to do our uh, uh, Martin Nussbaum <sighs> is, is terrific. Um, Judith Butler, if you want someone completely different. Um, she's at the University of Chicago. She's the first one I think of, because I think She's the sexiest boss ready alive. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> you have to you have to see the uh, um, the early video that the interview. Man, oh, she was so sexy. <coughs> she has a fact. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying. You know. That's a question. Uh, could you email me my current grade because it's not in Blackboard? Oh, I don't post them. They're, you're, you have an A in everything so far. So that actually isn't a, a, a For the folks that aren't sending me their quizzes and aren't sending me their tests, they don't have an A yet, but it's their fault, not mine. Right? Is that not happening? There are some. No. Fortunately, I know the mothers of some of those, <laughs> and, and they're, they've had a discussion. Oh, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. I'm still recording. Let me.